This is ridiculous. Oh, that looks better. Hey, hey. folks, I'm hoping we're not sideways. Yeah. We had a little bit of uh, technical difficulty. We're hoping that you find us on this live. But we found something that was really cool, and we just had to share it with you. We're also hoping we don't get kicked out of here because uh, <laughs> they close in 10 minutes. That's right. They close in 10 minutes. And uh, we promised you that we would go live every day. Today is industry day. Today doesn't really count. Not really. But we're going to do this anyway. And we know we've got two lives out there, so I'm not quite sure how this is all going to work because <laughs> sometimes YouTube just doesn't cooperate. It doesn't like us. No, it doesn't sometimes. So mm -mm. we're going to go ahead and do this and hope that you find us. Um, okay, we got one person here. Hey. Hey. All right, that's all we need. We just need one. So we one. found this RV. This is the 2023 Fortis 36 wide. Did I just push you out of the picture? I'm sorry. Yes, you did. Oh. Okay. So this RV, <laughs> um, let me know if you're on, if you can see everything okay. Um, and can you hear us okay? I'll put okay. the live chat messages up, make sure we're not like sideways or yeah. anything crazy like that because sometimes that happens with YouTube. It's just. And you didn't tell them this RV is so new, it's not even on the Fleetwood website. That's right. You cannot even find this 36Y now. A lot of you have told us that you were interested in bunk houses. Mm. Once you see this, you will no longer want a bunk house. Let me <laughs> tell you. Let me turn this around for you guys. This right here is a 36Y. I'll take you around front. Front. The price isn't up yet. We're going to do a long form content on this tomorrow. And tomorrow the price will be up, but we just had to show this to you. I'm going to show you the outside first. Um, just briefly, I want to show you this kitchen right here. John, do you want to go ahead and model this kitchen for everybody? There you go, John. You're so beautiful. Oh, stop. <laughs> it comes with a built-in grill, griddle, refrigerator. It has some storage here. That was pretty deep storage, John. Yeah, yeah and surprised. storage right here. Uh-huh. And a place to hook up a hose for an outdoor uh, shower spigot. And let's put this back. That's pretty neat. And I wonder if they did that because they didn't have enough room for a sink. Maybe. So they did that instead. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside. This is really nice. Up. Oh, oh no, we're sideways? Really? How's that? Is that better? We, we tried. I don't know why, but it wouldn't orient the camera properly. We had this problem in Hershey, too. I think it's with my phone, so next time we'll have John's phone because it's a much better phone. Okay, I'm going to hold the camera sideways. <laughs> and uh, John, you want to come in and tell them a little bit about the this? Uh... Well, it's a typical Ford layout up front. It's, it's got the typical uh, 7.3 liter uh, V8 engine. And uh, there's nothing really spectacular here. It's just a nice Fleetwood layout with a uh, pull-out desk on the other side and your uh, screen for your CarPlay and your Android Auto right there. Now, it, what's special is when we get back here to the living area, we have this L-shaped Wait, 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 John. That's not what's special about this. Not the this big This is nice, thing, but, but it's this not is special. Di this is different. An L-shaped dinette instead of your typical dinette. I like this. And the TV's right above your head. Yes, but then look over there. That's where the couch is. Now, I don't really particularly care for having the TV over there, but given what else is in this unit, I'm okay with it. And, well, the thing about this is that it does swivel, and I think it pops out. Okay, then I'm good with it. See, so you don't, you don't have to watch it up on the wall. I'm good then. All right. All right, you want to show them the storage up, up there? Yes, the storage. Them? This is one big pass-through. That's a lot of space. So, and it's deep. Yep. All right, let's go to the kitchen, John. This is a nice countertop. I like this. I like the look of it. I don't know if you guys can see, but like the color of this, it's really kind of cool. It is. It's not just your flat black, but oh, and a nice sink too. Look at how deep that is. That is nice. It's very big. And you also have a three burner uh, gas stove. This one happens to come with an oven. Which means it probably has a regular microwave up there. It looks like it is. Okay. Now, John, you forgot to show them these. Ah, yes. And the doors have uh, glass panels. I actually like those. They're very pretty. <laughs> and then down here, we have a couple of drawers, three of them, actually. They're small, but then you have this. 
which it would be deep if we didn't have all the plastic in it. it it's goes, okay. It it's goes not far that deep. back. Yeah. You can store pots and pans in there, definitely. Yes, there's a little storage shelf in, under the uh, dinette, too. Oh, I missed that. Okay, and it's that, that, that uh, dinette does turn into a bed, the right. booth. Okay, let's go into the bathroom. All right, we have a full bath right here. This is nice. Lots like of cabinet space. Plenty of cabinet space and a pretty cool shower. Pretty high step up. You want to do that? That is a very high step. Go jump in the shower, John. Let's see how you jump in there. Oh, let me see. I'll put it back this way. Yeah, that's a very high step. But it's lots of room. It's roomy enough. What are yeah. you guys thinking about this so far? I haven't gotten to the real special thing, but I'd like to hear what you, what you think. All right, John. We're going to move on. All right. Because we're going to be kicked out of here any moment, and we want to get to what's really special about this RV. Right, right. And the refrigerator, of course, is here. Uh -huh. What's this? This is pantry space? Probably. Uh, that's no. all your fuses. Okay, I'm seeing something I am not too fond of, and I don't think that there is a lot of pantry space. There is it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Now we're in the bedroom. Oh, John, we got your face right there. Ah, no, don't do that. Let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch. You come into right. the bedroom. Now there is a pocket door, door, sliding door for the bedroom here, to separate it from the living area. Yeah, it's firm. Uh, you have small nightstands with uh, 110 outlets with USB. Now, John, these are very small nightstands. So They're is very there a CPAP? Uh, Hose yes, there oh, okay. is a CPAP hose uh, opening opening in the bottom of okay. the center here. Okay. And there's an outlet and it lights up as you can see automatically when you open it. Okay. And then you have two large wardrobes here. This one and this one, they both uh, have oh, adjustable. Well, that's a very nice size, John. Yeah, the shelves are adjustable. I like that. As you can see, this one's a little lower. And I see the ladder, so one thing we should do is turn around. Oh, we forgot the, the height aloft. So that everyone can see that there is a height aloft bed up there. So we have, for sleeping area, we have the height aloft. We have the dinette. I think this sofa might turn into a bed as well. And this is really becoming a family uh, it is. RV. They really should have put a bigger refrigerator, I think. Probably. What but do you this, guys think? This... Should there be a bigger refrigerator in this, this RV? Let me know. Well, the Fortis isn't a very big RV. No, it's not. Yeah, so, so lots of dresser space. Lots of drawers here. Big wardrobes, two mirrors. I like that. Okay, so now... I'll let you go we do in. the big reveal? Yes. Okay. If you were thinking about bunk beds, if you're thinking... Oops. Uh-oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. If you're thinking about bunk beds... <laughs> Before you look for bunk beds, I really encourage you to take a look at this Fortis because you are going to be shocked. This Fortis actually has two bedrooms. Let me turn it around so that you can see what, the, what this looks like. There's a door here that closes, and then you walk into here, and you have a second bedroom. You have a television. You have a dresser. You have more. Storage space, closet space, additional drawers, but I'm going to turn around. In addition to all of this, you have a bed right there. What do you guys think about this? What do you think? And then they have their own private bathroom. How cool <laughs> is that? How cool is that? You not only your kids, not your, your kids have their own private. Oh, let's see what's under here. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this could be either a washer dryer, this yeah. is a combo unit, or additional storage for the kids. Right. I could see a kid like making that a playhouse. Yeah, if this was empty, yeah. Yep. So we wanted to show you this model because this model is super, super cool. And I'm sorry I've got to show it to you in vertical mode. But we are going to do some long form content and we're going to do long form content on that one. now. We have a bunk model from Fleetwood that we want to show you that's also brand new. Yes. We're going to follow John. It's uh, the Holiday Rambler branch of Fleetwood. Now, we saw this one. This one is a little bit more expensive. We still don't have prices because the prices will come out tomorrow. Um, but it is a Rev RV. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm glad you like that. I was wondering what people would think about that model. Um, make sure I, we're going to do the long form content tomorrow. We'll have that out later this week because 
that unit is special. That is really, really special. And when Fleetwood told me about it this morning, I was like, okay, I've got to bring you guys to see this. Definitely. All right, here's the other one coming up. This is a bunkhouse. Let me flip you around. Uh -oh. This is probably one of the nicest bunkhouses I've ever seen, except for the fact that, oh no. They might be working on it. This sometimes happens when you go live. They're taking down a sign. I guess they're doing some work. Well, let me see if they will still let us in. Oh, he's coming down. Yeah. So we may be okay. We might be okay. All right. Let me see. Excuse me. Is it okay if we sneak by? Oh, okay, great. Oh, awesome, thank you guys so much. Okay, so we're gonna go into this one. This is the Armada 40P, so this is a little bit bigger, but we were shocked when we saw what it looked like inside. This is a diesel pusher. And we will do a long form on this as well. So yes, this is a diesel, this is big, and it's probably very expensive. But look at this, um. you walk in, you have a really nice booth here. This is huge. Look at how many people you could sit here. John, sit there so they can get some perspective. <laughs> All right. Look at that. You could fit one, two, three, four, five. You could fit six Johns there. Yeah, pretty much. Six Johns can fit in here. And John, I don't, maybe you can try to see if we can get some light. I was trying, but. Because uh... it's industry day, some of these units don't um, have power, and there was a power issue today. Yeah. Uh, which is one of the reasons we didn't go live earlier. A lot of the units we wanted to show you did not have power. The panel has no power. Panel has no power. Okay. So this might be one of those. So we'll go through. John, you want to take us through the kitchen here? Uh, yes. I will take you through the kitchen here. This unit, this pit part right here slides in and out. Yes. I can't get it. I'm not sure there's a way to do it. Is that the cooktop there, John? This is your large... Oh, wow, that is really big. Cooktop, this is your... Uh, There's a dishwasher on the other side of John's legs there. Yes. Those are heavy. Are they heavy? Yeah. And there's the dishwasher. That is nice. This is luxury, folks. This is luxury. Oh, that's a big drawer, John. Uh. It's huge. John, can you buy me one of these two for our next anniversary? You know what? Sure. <laughs> okay, lots of space underneath your sink. Here's a nice big sink. Is this a farmhouse sink? Yes. yes, it is. You could do a lot of dishes in there, but you don't have to because you have a dishwasher. On this side, we have your recliners. And then I kind of like the way they do this. This is different. You can choose side A or side B. Which way are we going, John? John chose side B. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to the bathroom first. Right. You just couldn't wait to get in the shower, John. Oh, right? here we go, yes. I know you love the shower. Oh, this is a really nice shower. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And this flips up if you don't want to see. That is great. So. And then here's the rest of the bathroom, folks. What are you guys thinking about this so far? And then I'm going to go back out, and I'm going to go around, <laughs> and I'm going to take the other side, and this side has the bunk beds. This is so much space for the kids. Oh my gosh. Now, you do share a bathroom, but you have a door here, and this door can make this area a little bit more private for them and for you. There's another door here so that you can close yourself in the bathroom. Now, let's go to the bedroom. Oops, squeeze through here. It's a little tight. Squeezing through there. That's it's, the only thing. It's and wider John, coming through here. John, yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a door there? Yes. Oh, good. Cause right here. You love the separate... Yeah, I love the separation for the bunks, too. Yeah, I'm glad you like that. Hi, Angela. Happy New Year to so, you, too. So you can close this door and that door, and this is its own room. So they have, it's like they have their own private room. Right. That is great. I, I really, really like that. Okay, so now we're in the bedroom. John, yes. you want to show us the bedroom? Okay. Uh, well, when you come in, you have a large wardrobe there. Oh, John, I like that. You could put shoes there. I mean, I, right. I like the way they have that sectioned off. There are two bins there, and then you have shelving up top. And now I should tell everybody, we haven't seen this. We walked no. in real quick, saw it, and said, okay, we got to go film it. And uh, four pretty long drawers here on this side, and they, you have a matching set on this side. John! What? 
John! Yes, there's a fireplace in here. There's a fireplace! Yes, there right is. Right there! And this is a televator. There's a window behind this. Wow. So you have a window. If you want to watch TV, you can bring it up. Thank you, Angela, and the congratulations. We, um, we, I wish we knew it was coming. We'd have, we would have had them delivered it here to Florida. Right, yep. but it's, it's up in PA. But we've got something really special planned for our reveal. Really special. <laughs> And I like the fact this is two separate units, not a combo. It's washer dryer. Yep. And then and what's then back there? More this space? another closet. Oh my gosh! How do they fit so much? And this is the piece for the dinette bed, so you can have someone sleep on the dinette. And is that where your your Lumapex? Is that like your controls back there? Something I can't it see. It looks it's too dark. like it. It looks like some diagrams. I can't see them. It's unfortunate they had power issues today. Yeah, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. And then on this side you oh, have. Right. Your fuse box and a few other controls, which I can't read because it's dark. And it looks like it's an adjustable. Is it an adjustable bed, John? Uh, this, I believe it is, uh, but I cannot cannot tell. But it also looks like you can view all your cameras from here because they have a camera selector button. Oh, so like this is like the other one where you can sit in your bed and see everything that's going on around your RV. Your rig, yes. That's really cool. I like that. You hear a bump in the night? Turn on the cameras. Okay, uh, but yeah, you know, I don't know what happened, but um, we had this issue at Hershey too with my phone, so we need to use John's phone. Yeah, next we live stream we'll use mine. Next live stream we'll have it working right. We'll, 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 we'll troubleshoot and figure out what's going on here, why it will only let us do vertical mode. We heard that if you start with it one way, that it stays that way, but we started with it the right way, and it just flipped it to vertical, and we don't know why. YouTube doesn't like me today. It doesn't. I was wondering if it, oh yeah, it is. This oh, is, all your, TV, all your TV equipment is here. Yep. That's a pretty large TV. Yep. Recliners. Yep. Okay, well we just wanted to do a really, yes, they did really maximize the space. You are absolutely right, yes. Hi, we're live. Hi, are you I'm taking so us sorry. out? We're out of here, we're done. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize y'all were filming. Oh, it's perfectly oh, fine. Right. Oh, wait, there's more sleeping space, guys. We forgot this. Yes, the high There's loft. a high loft up top. That is so awesome. Okay, folks, well, we just wanted to do a really quick live. Oops, let me flip this around um, to show you some stuff. We have lots more to show you tomorrow. John and I filmed a bunch today that we're going to try to get out as soon as we can. Yes. And um, don't forget, just you know, tell us which manufacturers you want to see. There's more at Fleetwood we want to show. There's some Forest River. We have some Tiffins that we want to show you guys. Yep. So um, we'll give you more notice tomorrow. Look at our community page. And I wonder how much extra they're charging for that elephant. <laughs> 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 I know. Tomorrow is the big day we want to go live because then you'll be able to see the prices. There are, no, there are very few prices today. Tonight they'll go around and they'll put all the prices out. Right. And that's what we want to show you because I know you want to see how much these things cost in addition to what they look like. So tomorrow we'll do that for you. Watch our community posts because we're going to put out tonight what times we'll be doing our lives tomorrow. Um, we'll try to do them around lunchtime because we know that people are working. Right, John? Sure. All right. Or we could do them in the evening. Well, no, because they, they close early here. They close it's not like Hershey six. where they stay open late. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. Maybe we'll do two lives tomorrow. How's that? Oh, no. Okay. John <laughs> likes that idea, right, John? <laughs> Two lives. <laughs> Thank you, folks. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Now I got to figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>